You received a lot of inspiration from the book, The Lean Startup. Tell us how you've applied some of the principles in Lean Startup in your book in new and valuable ways. For those people who aren't familiar with The Lean Startup, it's a book by Eric Ries that came out something like seven years ago. And what I feel The Lean Startup did was really capture the best practices of innovation that are behind this rapid pace of progress that we see out of Silicon Valley. You know, we all see the cool apps and websites and things like that, but what drives that? And his insight was that you know, what helps us drive innovation and what's behind innovation is not, you know, the, the big idea. You know, we, we sort of, we, we like to focus on, you know, coming up with a big game-changing idea that will change everything. But really what it's more about is the, the process of testing, measuring, and iterating. And he calls this build, measure, learn, and the build, measure, learn cycle. And this isn't rocket science. This is the build, measure, learn is essentially based on the scientific method. The idea is that you, you know, you have a potential solution. If you're working in a realm of high uncertainty, there's a lot of things that could go wrong. So rather than investing huge amounts of money in designing, testing, manufacturing, building out infrastructure, before doing all that, how about if we run small experiments to learn? And so using the scientific method, we frame a hypothesis. We build an experiment to test that hypothesis. We measure the results, gather data, and then we learn something. And if it's successful, then maybe we know it's safe to double down. And if it's not successful, then we know maybe we need to maybe adjust our solution or even take a more significant pivot.